In this problem, we have a table, and uh, it looks like students were given four quarters or a dollar. And then we analyzed whether or not they used the money to buy gum or they kept the money. For example, um, here it says purchase gum. So we had 33 students purchase gum, and they were given four quarters. Then we had 19 students purchase gum, and they were given a dollar bill. Uh, likewise, here we have kept the money. So find the probability of randomly selecting a student who spent the money given that the student was given a $1 bill. Okay, so the key word in this problem is the words given that. That means we're dealing with what's called a conditional probability. So probability, and the way you do it is you write the P, you write the parentheses, and then you just read it again. Selecting a student who spent the money. Okay, so spent the money, that means they purchased gum. Okay, so I'm just gonna put purchased gum. So purchased gum or I'll just put spent, purchase gum, same thing. Given that, so whenever you see the line, you, uh, whenever you see the given that, you write the line. The student was given a dollar bill. So I'm just gonna put one dollar, okay. So whenever you have a conditional probability, the number on the bottom changes, okay. Normally you add up everything to get the total. However, in this case, we know some information. We know that the student was given a one dollar bill. So that reduces our total to just the students who were given a $1 bill. So we just go to where it says students given a $1 bill, and we add up going across. So 19 plus 25 is, let's see, uh, 10 plus 25 is 35. 9 plus 35 is, so it's 44. So there are 44 students that were given a $1 bill. So this goes on the bottom. Whatever is after the given always goes on the bottom, always. Now we're looking for the students that spent or spent the money or purchased gum. So from the students that were given a $1 bill, so only from these we want the ones that purchased gum. So 19, so 19, right? It's really tricky. It's only from these. Normally you would add up uh, the 33 and the 19. However, we're restricting things. We're only focusing on the ones that were given a $1 bill. So from these, 19 purchase go. All right, let's put it in the calculator. So it's not hard, but but you kind of want you kind of have to know how to do it. Like if you don't know how to do it, it's it's impossible. So uh, 0.432, good stuff. So it's easy when you know how to do it. That's how it is in, in probability. And if you don't know how to do it, it feels, it feels really hard. Um, all right. Find the probability of selecting a student who kept the money given that the student was given a $1 bill. All right, let's write it again. So P, parentheses, then it says kept, so kept the money, given that they were given a $1 bill. So kept the money given that they were given a $1 bill. And again, we're focusing on the students who were given a $1 bill. So that's the number that goes in the bottom. So adding across students given a $1 bill, you get 44. And from those students, you're looking for the ones that kept. Okay, just from, just from these, it's the ones that kept. So you do not add, right? It's just, it's just the 25. So 25 over 44. Let's try it. 25 over 44. So 0.568, let me type it in, 0.568. Okay, I'm also gonna go ahead and write it down, whoops. So 0.568. What do the preceding results suggest? Okay, so again, before reading the choices, usually it's a good idea to try to form your own opinion. And the reason I say that is, there's four choices here and three of them are incorrect. So you're gonna be reading incorrect stuff that makes it harder. It's always harder to read stuff that's wrong. So let's see if we can form our own opinion without reading these choices and then we'll go and try to answer the question. So in both cases, the student was given a $1 bill. Okay, so we know that. So students who were given a $1 bill, we know that. Um, well, there was a higher chance that they kept the money, right? 0.568 probability they kept the money 0.432 probability they spent the money. So given a $1 bill, um, most students decided to keep the money. So I think it's gonna be a student given a $1 bill 
is more likely to have kept the money. That's what this tells us, right? Uh, here it says, a student given a $1 bill is more likely to have kept the money than a student given four quarters. That could be true, but we don't know. Based on our results, I mean, I haven't worked it out, so I don't know if that's accurate. Based on our results, it says on the preceding results, we know it's part B. A student given a $1 bill is more likely to have kept the money. That's all we know uh, based off our current results. And that's it.